TI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zila, and we're here today doing the Alpha 8 Experimental Series. And <clears throat> so it's still build 1681. Uh, I missed a day of posting a video because I was trying to get a scenario up and working for, on the server and we had one up and working and then 1681 came along we updated the server and it is pooched <sighs> yeah um, so we're gonna try and get that working for stable release so that we can actually do a live stream of the launch of it the uh, GTI team is planning on doing a full team launch live stream of the server when it goes stable next week and the latest build pooched our <laughs> it was working great on rc1 i jet i built the scenario on rc1 and then uh 1681 came along and it doesn't it the the play fields load all dual leveled and stuff just all screwed right up just really disappointing really disappointing but <clears throat> in the meantime you can see that I have uh, finished off the garden plots and I've got a bunch more veggies in here now I've, I've well we can pick these it looks like the spice is ready yep spice is ready so we want to get the spice filled in here so we're gonna need three more spice sprouts <clears throat> or I should say six in total uh, so no growing growing okay okay wow and my corn still hasn't grown this stuff is like super slow wow okay anyway We'll just dump this stuff in here. Um, <clears throat> also, a lot of people might not be aware of to make spoiled food in order to make your nutrient solution, you need plant protein. In order to make plant protein, you need vegetables. So if you have a bunch of vegetables, you can instantly make nutrient solution. So that's really handy. Let's make ourselves some more spice. So we needed two, four, six. There we go. Because each one makes two. And oh, requires two. Okay. Yeah, we can do it. We can do it. And herbal leaves, we've got those, we've got six of those going. Okay, excellent. That is excellent. Oh, we need to put this. Okay, we've got that and that. And okay, so we're pretty much ready to go. Let's just plant these really quick here. Okay, the reason why I'm doing so much spice is because if you look at the ingredients necessary for canned meat, it's four spice. For canned vegetables, it's two spice. And you only get like one every time you pick one, so it's... <sighs> That's like four plus meat, four plots per canned meat required plus the meat itself and then one two three plots worth of to, to make one can vegetables because you need two plots of spice and one plot of vegetables because you get four vegetables off off vegetable plants for the most part at least the ones that I planted so let's pick these here we'll finish picking these and then we are going to spawn in an SV and head up to the moon those are growing okay that's all fine let's just put these in here 
like that. And I guess we can get more, we can get more um, mushrooms going. And we'll have to get more berries when we can pick them. Okay, here we go. Get this last mushroom in here. And we'll just put the spare spud in here in case there's some sort of garden disaster. Uh, I have made myself a bunch of oxygen. So let's go into, oh yeah, and I updated, was, I was able to update one more of my advanced constructors. So I did that, but I don't have the mats to do in the other one. I don't have enough Neo. Okay, so we've got our O2. We've got some vegetable juice. We've got bullets. We've got some energy. Did we make more? I think we did. I think we're making it here. Yep. Okay. And then we'll grab some food. What do we got here? Energy. Yeah, we'll grab those. Those will be good enough. Okay. Okay, so let's spawn this in. We should be able to spawn it in here in the CV. Okay. And bring this down a little bit just so it doesn't dent the place falling onto the CV. There we go. And this is our Backload, no warp, no frills, cheap, well, not cheap, um, expensive starter SV. <laughs> Actually, it's quite expensive for a starter SV, but it handles quite nicely. It, um, it has my box top design, so let's fill that. We're going to fill that. We're going to fill that. We're going to go into the fridge, and we're going to put those in there so they don't spoil okay now we have 48 drill charges and 13 multi charges that'll be good enough for now I think we should head out so let's go so it's a bit of a slug but that's okay um, I guess what we should do is just go to the moon, right? Let's do that. Let's just head to the moon. And we'll get some cobalt, some pentaxid. And then we should be able to uh, multi-tool this SV down and spawn in a better SV. <laughs> this is a, like a single-use time. Yeah, it's real expensive SV, but hey, you might as well ride in luxury while you're doing it, right? Right? Okay, head over here to the moon. I guess while we're up here, we can take a look at what spawns in here. Silicone, copper, cobalt, promethium. So cobalt and promethium, that's nice. So if we spot anything, we'll, um, well, we'll, we'll mark it so that we can mine it later, obviously. Okay, so it is a ways over there. I will meet you guys there. Whoa, we almost ran into this freighter. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention, floating around with the brakes off, just kind of cruising around. Next thing you know, red dot, look over. There it is. It's super close, about to shoot. And we got out of there. So, yeah, that was kind of crazy. Okay, well, if anything else happens before we get to the moon, I'll uh, let you know. 
Okay, so let's see where we end up. It's probably going to be right over top of the drone base, so, you know, just, just saying. Uh, yep, looks like we're over top of the drone base. And, wait, is that a patrol vessel? No. What is that? Let's just dare a little bit of a closer look here. Hang on, let's switch to night sight. Now it's gotten really dark. Oh, maybe that's just a crashed... Crash Sentinel. Okay. And we've got silicone there. We've got something there. That looks dangerous. So let's... We've got radar all around. Let's head north. Let's head north because I can see the pole right there. We'll... Uh, We'll get everything revealed here. Iron. We're looking for cobalt and pentaxid. And what is that over there? Is that, oh, that's a, just a drone, okay. I mean, we should stop and kill the drones, but I don't really feel like it. <laughs> well, I will, I will. Pentaxid, here we go. 10? 10. Really? Okay. Well, we'll we'll take it. Okay, getting light out. Just get above it here and level off and come down. And there we go. Let's jump out. And Oh, that was interesting. It actually ejected me out the back. Huh. I'm okay with that. That's fine. That's still protected there, isn't it? Yeah, I'm still in oxygenated and everything. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's spawn our drone. And make sure that we don't have anything attacking us. I don't see any red dots or arrows. Okay, so let's go after this thing. We might have to, let's turn the lights off so that we can try and spot it with our, there it is. That's probably the soul chunk right there. We'll see how quick this, we'll see how long this takes, and normally I wouldn't show you all the mining, but since this is just a single chunk, and we've got a T2 drill, and we're just going straight down to it. It's actually pretty high radiation, 7.9. It's a good thing I have this design that allows me to uh, stay in my ship and mine. Where it doesn't matter. I could be in my PJs and do this. Not to say that I would, I'm just, I'm just saying I could. Besides, who, who wouldn't want to fly around in space in their pajamas. <laughs> Everyone, of course. Okay. There it is there. Boom. Ten pentaxid. Yay, that was exciting. Okay. So what we're going to do now is... Let's turn our lights back on. I wonder if there's patrols on the moon. I wonder if there's Xerax patrols on the moon. You know, I never actually checked that to see if that was a thing now. Huh. That'd be interesting. I guess you could add them. No problem. Just like they did with uh, the starter. So we're going to go west now that we've hit the pole. Just I'm not going to jump out and pick Pentaxid yet, unless we have to, 
Okay, now it's getting dark. Um, okay, so it's something this way. Pentaxid, yay! 33 this time. That's actually not too bad. So we're going to have to take out whatever this is. So let's... Oh, hey. It came preloaded. Oh, yeah, that's kind of weird. And, oh, there's something over there, too. So we'll go check that out. We'll go check that out. And... In the meantime, let's get over this pentaxid. Level off, come down. And we'll spawn our drone and loot this thing. Oh, nice. Actually, I much prefer the loot now on the drones. They don't drop as much of the higher end stuff, but they drop more appropriate stuff and actually usable stuff right off the bat, like the fuel and the uh, 15 mil bullets. That's actually really good. Okay, so let's turn our lights off again because we can't actually see and we're going to have to go. There we go. Okay, so that's probably the only chunk there. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, this will give us close to 50 pentaxid, which is really good. And... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I will dig this up and I'm going to continue scouting. And when I find something else, I will let you guys know. Well, as you can see, I just finished mining and it looks like a replacement is coming in. So let's deal with him. Oh, maybe not. Um, hmm. Let's shed a little light on the subject. What is he doing? Is he protecting something? He's a rocket drone. And he explodes like a rocket drone. And he falls through the world like a rocket drone. Okay. Um, well, it says there's something over here. And that's the hand... And another pentaxid. Wow. Another 33-er. Okay. Well, I'm going to stop and get this. And... Awesome. Awesome. Now, that guy was coming from that. I'm thinking the drone base is that direction because the drone came from that direction. So, I'm going to level off and land and dig this up. And I will continue scouting. And when I find something, I will let you guys know. Huh. Finished the pentaxid. I just started flying away. And next thing you know, there's a bunch of drones coming in at me. So let's deal with these guys. The other one just fell through the planet. Okay. Well, let's loot this one then. Minigun drone. Turn my night light off. Night light! Oops. We'll just lower ourselves down get this looted. Come on. Uh, fuel and bullets. That's fine. Okay. Well, it doesn't... I don't... I'm not sure if they're replacements or what they were doing, but... Hmm. Okay, so there's radar contact over here. Let's go check it out. And now it's pointing us to the north. And there's another drone coming in. Wow, that guy was kind of coming in fast. So what is he doing? Got a silicone. Oh, nice size one too. Did I just get 
the message saying that there was uh, I, I got some sort of notification and I just didn't hear it and didn't see it. Did I troop transport it? Did, did we get a troop transport coming? And this is a tiny little moon. It's actually only a uh, size two, like the original size of the uh, play fields. So that's kind of interesting. It's not the same every time, which is kind of cool for, because I generated this based on a random seed, or not a random seed, but a randomly generated solar system. Uh, don't really know what to expect when it comes to all the starter stuff. I mean, obviously it's more than just a randomly generated solar system because, wow, that's that's some nice size iron, 8400, nice. Well, I know where to come to get iron and silicone, wow. Well, there's something else here, magnesium, there we go. We can mine this. Well, I haven't found any cobalt, but I think we're starting to run out of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this and I'm going to fly around the rest of the moon because it's so, you know, hang on. Is there really much left to explore? Not really. <laughs> Not really. So I'm going to finish exploring the moon because it's only yeah, class two, or size two. And find some cobalt. Uh, there should be four. Four nodes of cobalt. Okay, good. Uh, well, guys, I think next episode I should have the resources necessary to spawn in a better HV, or sorry, a better SV, and warp to another system to try and get some better ores so that we can actually finish building the CV thrusters and cockpit and stuff so that we can get off the planet and uh, try exploring I basically want to start warping around and just loading into the play fields and checking them out um, and yeah basically just want to check out the new play fields the random play fields and stuff like that uh, they can be diverse and, and cool so I want to get that done before it goes stable in like half a week so yeah um, we're not gonna have much more to do with the experimental unfortunately we didn't really get a lot accomplished because of all the restarts but that's the nature of experimental you can't expect to get a lot done well guys uh, I'm gonna leave you it off here so next episode we will spawn in a better SV and take it out warping yeah so until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day.